Good evening everyone, uh, welcome back to another Tourist Bus Simulator livestream on the console. So big thanks to Aerosol for giving us the code to show it off. And it's not actually early access anymore, this is now out, this is launch day. Uh, it came out about three hours ago, no probably more than that, I think it was midnight local time here in the UK, so a little while ago now. But yeah, the game is now out, if you're on Xbox the day one patch should already be out. If you're on PlayStation, like PlayStation, they're always late with things and take ages to uh, process updates. Uh, it, the PlayStation update will be slightly later on today, but it is coming, it's just being processed. But you know what Sony are like, they take years to process things. Anyway, uh, let's see what we have got uh, in the chat. We have got... Um, <clears throat> Oh, the comments in the way that one, but we've got Jody, Ron, Stephen, Joseph, uh, Laserjet, uh, we've got G Luke, yeah, should be out later, the Waterport, Tommy, Mr. Adams, Steve, oh, awesome, class 803 at 7 picks and videos, nice, and hello, Craig, how are you? Yeah, that it freezes, Craig, it is a bug, and it will be sorted in the day one patch, which should hopefully be out very soon. Uh, it's just being processed by Sony, so it's in their hands, they're a software send it off so it's now all down to so i need to process it and get it live so it might even be during this stream the day one patch comes out uh anyway uh let's uh let's do that but yeah hopefully you're all good steve wish i could get the game fair enough uh we're going to do some career today so we're going to do the economy mode let's go into that um and let's resume the game let's do it but yeah hopefully the day one patch will be out uh shortly and if it does, I'll quickly go out and update it. That's good, Craig. Yeah, it's uh, it's a bug. Same with the black payments. But yeah, day one patch, I've pinned it in the comments, will be out slightly later for PlayStation. But it is now out on Xbox. So on Xbox, it should be nice and running fine and all nice and smooth. Uh, and the walls should be working on Xbox as well. Uh, anyway, uh, let's get ourselves a job. Uh, let's have a look. Hello, Melody. How are you? Um... Alright, so the 25th, that's the usual run, isn't it? I need to get a worker. Uh, worker, worker, worker. Let's have a look. Where's the pin board? What one is it? I think it's that one. Yeah, this one here. So I'm going to change that to be our worker. So Angelina Schmid, W906. You can be assigned to that, which is an infinite route. So it just keeps doing it. It does it every day. Hello, Gordon. What train tomorrow to? It should you drive to Southeastern. There you go, we don't need to do that anymore. Let's have a look. So, calendar, no orders. Fair enough, uh, Steve. Let's see, new orders, what have we got? Uh, Coralejo to the airport, that's one of the faster services. We've already done that before. Let's do something we haven't done before. Airport to Hotel Ocean Dream. Let's do that. Oh, that's a shuttle service. Uh, avoid the shuttle services on the PlayStation at the moment. They are bugged, so don't do the shuttle services. But yeah, day one patch, yeah, that will sort that. Uh, I'm just saying what ones we could do. Coralejo to Antigua. And that's a medium trip. That won't be too bad. Yeah, good to hear, Melody. I'm all good. But that does mean driving all the way up to Coralejo then. Yeah. Uh, what else we got? 5k airport to Coralejo. We did that one um, yesterday, I think. Yeah, we did that one before, didn't we? And that's also another infinite one. Uh, what else we got? Castilla de Fuster to Castillas de Enhel. That's 2,000. Uh, well, let's do... Shall we do the infinite one? It wasn't too bad, that one. You get 5k for it as well. Yeah, let's do this one. Airport to Coralejo. Uh, it's 5,400 you get for it. And it's also an infinite one, which... I might buy another bus. Because if we buy another bus... Um, yeah, let's head back to the... I'm going to head back to the office... And then we'll buy another bus. And we'll get like a bigger bus to run that route. Because that route's really busy. Uh, let's do that. As I remember last time, we um, we uh, had issues with trying to get everybody on. Because it's such a busy route. So I'm going to go and get myself another... I'm going to get myself a loan, I think. I didn't really want to get a loan, but I think we'll do it. Where is the DLC? That's a good question. If Beaver comes in, I'm sure he'll be able to answer it. Uh, but where is the DLC? That's a good question. I'm afraid I can't answer that though. I don't know. Is this game available on PS4? Uh, no, next gen only. So PS5 and Xbox Series S and X and PC. Hopefully we'll see Beaver coming. I might give him a message just saying we are live if he wants to come in and answer a few questions. 
Put that back. And drive that like that. But yeah, who has got the game? Who's picked it up already? Right, let's uh, set that to neutral and do that. Right. Let's go into the office. Just a bit easier to find all the bits. Oh. Took nine hours to download. How big was the download? Hello, Jaffa. On PlayStation, it's 11 gig. Although that is without the day one patch. Um, yeah, I think I want to get myself a loan and we'll get another bus. Or, or how much money do we have? Let's have a look. Vehicles. Um, I think once it gets below 70%, I'll probably end up repairing it. Hello, Darnell. Or Darnell, how are you doing? Let's see, new vehicles. BB40, too small really for the for the route we're going to do. Uh, second hand. That won't be too bad, the R62. That's got quite a bit of room on it. In fact, I might get the R62. Or the MAN Lions Coach 2nd Gen. That's not bad either. Yeah, we're going to go for one of those two. What are we going to go for? The MAN Lions Coach C 2nd Gen or the R62. Bearing in mind the Lion Coach C is probably the bigger bus. Fair enough, uh, Melody, fair enough. Although if you do get the console version, you do get the Skyliner for it as well. I might get, I mean it's more expensive, but I feel like it will be worth it in the long run getting the Lion's Coach. And that's the bigger version as well, I think. That's the Lion's Coach C. Yeah, I think we're going to get that. It's 80,000, 80, which only leaves us with 12,000. But once we do the next route, we'll be up to... Yeah, we'll get it, I think. I think we'll get it. I think it'll be worth it in the long run, getting the... I don't know. MAN bus, you say? Well, they're both MAN. I don't know, what are we going for? The coach or the intercity? So, yeah, coach or intercity, what are we going for? So they're both all right. Yeah, in the coach or the intercity? What are we going for? That one's, bearing in mind, that's slightly cheaper. Well, this one's in the best condition, though, being 94%. Pretty much 95%. So that might actually be worth it. Is this available for PlayStation 4? No. You know what? I think I'm going to go for the Lion's Coat C. Just because it's on 95%. Uh, it's 80k, but it's probably going to be worth it in the long run. No click. Oh, I see wrong. Intercity. Oh, it seems more intercity now. Okay, let's go for the intercity. I guess so we could repair it. Uh, intercity. R62. Uh, what one's better? 75. I'm going to go for this one. Because it's probably actually cheaper to buy it and then just repair it. So let's go for that. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's quite a bit of... Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's buy it. Should the vehicle be delivered? Yes. Your vehicle will be delivered at 8 o'clock on the 28th. Nice. Well, what we'll do then is we will skip time to the 25th. So I think we've got that worker, haven't we, running the other route. So I want to make sure they know what they're doing. Let's have a look. Angelina Schmid, 25th at 11 o'clock. Yeah, let's go to the 26th. I just want to make sure they keep that order. Had an accident? Come on. Really? Um, yeah, 60% now on our uh, on that. Unbelievable. Well, it should be all good. We'll skip to the 27th, just to make sure nothing bad happens. Let's have a look. What's it on now? I'm checking the health of that minibus, which is on 60%. So I think what we'll do is we'll end up repairing it and also getting the R62. Uh, so yeah, 60% ain't great. And then we'll skip to the 28th. What's it going to say now? She's that your data volume is used up. The steering's fair enough, Gordon. Wait, it works, but the steering... What, you've turned it off, or... Uh, we get... No, not that. Uh, we get that. Oh, no. Yes, that. There you go. Right, so our bus should now be delivered. Let's have a look. Uh, vehicles. Yeah, there we go. The, oh, do we get that fixed? Now, we'll go for a drive first. So our new bus should be out here and also get ourselves an order. Uh, Calendar, no, yes, order. Where are the orders bit? Fax machine. 
What we got? New orders. Uh, go for that. What are we going to go for? Airport to Coralejo on the 30th, 5.4k. Yeah, I think we'll go for for that or that one. No, we'll do we'll do this one. Let's accept that and we'll put us onto it and that there. And also, what we'll do for now is I shall set my worker to have my mini bus, just because that's got more health. So Angelina Schmid. You can go my one for now, which frees up that one, which we can then get fixed. Ah, I see. Oh, you want to come into the chat? Yeah, it sure can be, but let me get the thing set up, if I can find the headphones, or the earphones. But yeah, we'll get Beaver into the chat, who can answer any last questions, well, I mean, any questions you have about the game as it's out. Um, let me quickly get that sorted. Then we, can, uh, then we can have a chat. Oh, if I can get it in, there we go. Right, uh, let's get Beaver in, who yeah, knows much more than me about the game, so uh, yes, um, let's do that, make sure that's working, there you go, that's all good, but yeah, let's get Beaver into the, into the chat, um, there you go, hello Beaver. Hello, hello, hello. There we go. How are you all? Happy release day. Yeah. <laughs> Finally. The wait is over. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, not too bad yourself. Yeah, I'm all good. Good, good. Right, uh, head over here. Uh, hello, Jaffa. Hello, Gordon Least. And hello, Melody. I am well, thank you, Jaffa. Where's my bus gone? Where's my R62? So, yeah, as Joe has kindly pinned at the top, the day one patch is now out on Xbox and Sony are currently uh, taking their sweet time over processing it. So, as <laughs> soon as they've done that, it'll be out for Sony PS5 as well. As you can see, there's awesome. some sort of texture glitch there when Joe walked through that door. The um, frame disappeared. I don't know whether that's been fixed, but I did get told that there was a slew of bug fixes along the ones that I mentioned yesterday. Uh, hello, Joseph Adams. Oh, uh, hello, that. hello, Donnell Fernandez. So yeah, uh, if you want to put in chat, who's got the game already? I'm actually excited to see how many of you have actually got the game. What platform you on as well? See so, if there's any favouritism for one or another here. <laughs> Can you pack the bag? What do you mean pack the bag in the game? I was trying to find where my blooming bus is. Uh, you, if you select it as your vehicle, it should spawn outside. If you don't have anything selected as player vehicle, it won't spawn. It's not there. What's happened to my bus? Uh, 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 is it in the garage? <laughs> Wait, oh, do I not have enough room, maybe? I've got three buses. Do I have enough room uh, for all three? You should. Uh, what I'll do is I'll... So there is update, Jaffa. Yes, uh, Xbox is processed and released. Sony is currently processing. Uh, if you go to the, the board where you can assign vehicles to drivers... Yeah. You have it on PC. Oh, yeah, so do I, Melody. That's where I test, so I have it on PC. Yeah, it should be all good. I seem to be assigned to it, unless I need to skip to the 30th. Possibly. Uh, if it has been in use by someone else and you take it off them, it'll give it to you the next day. Uh, shouldn't be. Uh, yeah, it should It should have given it to you. I don't... Uh, hey, before I've got a game, but I don't have PS4. Wait, hold on. Hold on, Scottish. So you have the game, but you don't have a console yet. Okay. Oh, you know, I guess that's at least you've got the game. <laughs> is there any idea how long it takes to process on PS5? Kenzie O'Callaghan? Uh, nope. That is a Sony thing. It depends how long they choose to take over it. Uh, but yeah, TML have done our bit. Cool. Uh, where is the downloadable content for the extra boxes on the Xbox Beaver? Um, Ron Summer Ill, hmm. do you mean as in downloadable DLC buses like for purchase? Yeah, in which case DLC. they should be they should be you should be able to go to the game on your console and there should be an option there that says take me to the store or something like that. There should be like a store section for add on content. I don't, know exactly know how, I don't know exactly how Xbox and Xbox works, so I remember PlayStation works because they used to own one. Um but yeah, there should be an option that takes you to add on content for that game somewhere. I don't know exactly where it is. You may have a better idea of that than me. Yeah. Yeah, my, yes. My bus seems to be missing. <laughs> I don't know where it is. Uh, I'm gonna get okay, so you, 
Uh, so you've got an appointment on the 30th? Yeah. Right, see if it's outside now. I uh, can't find it yet. I'm on PS5, my birthday's on June 5th, so I'll wait until then beyond now. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe try closing the game and reopening it? Yeah, I'll do yeah. that. <clears throat> Just Is this game going to be on Game Pass? Laser Jet 899 overshoots? No, it will not. Unfortunately. Test. Well, I'll do that and then hopefully then it will um, show up. Yes. Uh, then come out of there. Um. Uh. Well, that's not good. Yeah, I've got the. Load it back um, up. Just had a message from someone on the Discord, a fellow closed beta member, and I look. Yeah. We can, I can no longer log on to the forum, which is not oh. good. I think they may have broke something. Let me try and log in. If I can't log in either, this is Awesome isn't beyond now, so I went to them. Fair enough. Does keyboard and uh, mouse uh, work? Log in. There we are. Uh -huh, um. Excuse me, sorry, let me get back to that. Keyboard and mouse, it should work. Yes, it should. As far as I'm aware, PlayStation does not support mouse, however, the keyboard should work. So there you, you have see. to act with the mouse, you have to use that with your controller, but your keyboard should work, yes. So yeah, the forum, oh my life, as I made her update, uh, let me go and see if there is a section yeah. for console edition. Um, no, there is can not. Can you scan I've... people's tickets? You can on shuttle, uh, in, can't you? Yeah, in the shuttle mode, if that is working, because Joe was having some problems with it. Uh, uh, Gav's it? photography. Hello, how are you doing? Why do I all have all the DLC if I haven't bought them yet? Kenzie O'Callaghan. What DLC do you have? Uh, because I found out last night that some of them have been added for free. Uh, the MN Lines, Intercity, the Neoplan Skyliner, uh, BB40, and I believe that's it. There may be another one as well. Yeah. What about the W906? I mean, uh, that is a... Let me just check my messages here, because I got told I don't want to give any wrong information here. <laughs> so let me just check what I got told from one of the senior devs, because I put the question to them, and they told me what would be coming. Yeah, I've got that SMS thing come up again. But it doesn't let yeah. me pause the game. Okay, so... The base game comes with the Lion Coach 2nd Gen, which we all knew. That was a base game, base coach from the PC version. Um, the Implant Skyliner is included as a default bus. The Lions Intercity, that's a pack of three. You've got the R60, 61 and 62, and the BB40. Uh, I'm wondering if you can maybe, but I'm using my steering wheel. The turning is all off. Uh, what console were you on, Gordon? There's no stores option on Xbox. Hmm. I may have to find out how you get to that then. It's definitely available. Um. Uh, will steering wheel get support on Series S, X, S, Mr. T? And uh, Mr. T, apparently it is available. Uh, we are just waiting on Sony. Apparently that is a bit behind. Cool. Uh, so yeah, Sony is just finalizing it. So it won't be long. You also have all the buses from the bus. Uh, oh. Someone... Okay, well, I'm presuming you're on PS5 then, Kenzie, because the Xbox patch has rolled out. They will be removed. So, yeah, they are not going to stay, so don't get your hopes up. As soon as the patch PS5 goes live, the Garnier Citywide and the MANDD will be removed. Ah, so you're on Xbox. Hello, Rabbit. How are you? You're on Xbox Series S. So, yeah, you can go into the settings... Gordon, and you should be able to adjust like the fade time and curve value, etc., to adjust it to your taste. There's no DLC content on Xbox yet, but none at all, Gavs. Hmm. Can you press Strange. the buttons, or do you have to use the HUD? You have to use the HUD. Yes. I was trying to work out how to get rid of this uh, MNS message that keeps coming up. I'm in right, the service you... vehicle. Yeah, if you go into your smartphone, oh, I'm a bit behind here. Yeah, it doesn't let me. Press and pause. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you can't get into your smartphone for some reason. We had this yesterday. Well, if we? I go to where it wants me to go in the service vehicle, then maybe I can sort that and it will disappear. Yeah, that's entirely possible. I'll give that a go. Obviously, I'm used to PC me, so yeah. it's kind of because I'm like automatically I'm habit. I'm like, oh, press escape. Yeah. They're like, I can't do that. 
So yeah, I'm half into. Fair enough. This game is fantastic. Yeah, it's very good. Right, I need to be fairly quick with this because we've got an order at one o'clock. So yeah. uh, I need to sort of race my way down there to try and get this uh, this done. Yeah, definitely. You can see DLC on the game page, but there is no DLC on the game page for Tourist Bus. You can compare the game page with Train Sim with the. G oh, I see. Like an in game store then. Yeah, we don't have, like, you can't actually do it directly in the game. Yeah. Yeah, we don't do that. Not like Train Sim World. Um, so, yeah, basically, any DLC that you don't own. Should be in a store, but saying that you can't find it, so maybe the store page hasn't been updated yet. Yeah. I'll maybe have to go and find out what's going on with DLCs. Let me ask now, hopefully, I can get a reply before Joe is done here. Cool. And then I can let you guys know. Well, I'm whizzing down just... to uh, whatever the. where it's taken me in the service vehicle. Yeah. Um. Got to find someone that's online. Hold on. Feels like the time may be stuck to 8.04, unless the time stops uh, when you get a message. Is it in cloud gaming? Uh, I don't think so, Tom's time. Uh, no, it is not in cloud gaming. Master Rail Driver, is the handling better? Well, me and Joe don't seem to have any problems with it, but we are both using controllers. Yeah, controller, it's, it's fine driving. Well, I've all used my wheel when the um, patch comes out. Yeah. Obviously, it's supposed to be there from day one, but being as Sony are taking their sweet time over it, the wheel support is, um, yes. Yeah. A little bit behind, but it will be there, don't worry. We've got a whole slew of fixes coming in the update, so... Cool. Yes. The most annoying one is probably the black sidewalk bug. Yeah. Which has been fixed. Jaffa says there's no DLC on the PlayStation Store, but I'm guessing <laughs> probably to the day one patch and it will come. Uh, that would make sense. I'm just inquiring now what's going on with the DLCs. Why are they not showing up? I'm just asking now. Tom Time says, will it ever be on cloud gaming or not? Um, that's a good question. I may have to put that to someone else and see if we can get an answer. Cool. Yeah, I have asked about the DLC. I will see whether they come back to me. Hopefully they do. Yeah. So what I'm doing now, everyone, is because I've got an SMS message, I don't know if you can cancel it or whatnot, I've got in the service car, and that's taken me down to a broken down bus, I believe. So we've got uh, that no, down there. Yeah, that SMS thing will just sit there until you've done it and then it'll go away. Okay, so it's like it's an emergency it's... alert. Uh, well, I mean, it's a reminder, basically, yeah. You should be able to open it up, but obviously the smartphone isn't opening for you, so... Yeah. But yeah. is there a phone in the mirror? It's not in the mirror, it's just on the HUD. But I've got to go in there, I suppose, fix the bus. I don't know if I needed the parts, I'm just driving over. <laughs> yeah. So I'm hoping it works. Yeah, that, there we are, there's a broken bus. There's one of the cars you can drive on here. Which is so yeah. Up. Guys, I have a small favour to ask you. If you haven't already, would you please go kind as to check out my own personal YouTube channel. I do a lot of varied content on there like Joe does. Yeah. And yeah, I'd really appreciate if you could go along and check my channel out. It would be much appreciated. I'm sure Joe will drop a link down in the description for can you be. guys. I'll do that once we get to the broken bus. Yeah, and if anyone else has a channel as well, um, yeah, let me know and I'll go and go over and drop you a sub, a return sub. Yeah, it's brilliant, uh, Miss Adams. Around we go. And a bus up there. So you can buy different depots, can't you? I think or different like bases. Uh, yes, there is one base that I'm aware of. Yeah. That is pretty much in the direction you're going now. It's yeah. In, yeah. Hello, planes. How are you? Hello. So yeah, you head down here, and then you can go to it and buy it. It's quite pricey. Yeah, that's at two hundred k or something. 
something like that yeah then you can upgrade it i believe there's are nine modules additional modules and i think each one oh, could yeah. take four buses four buses each if i'm not mistaken so, so how you can much have... can you get in the base one then about five uh when you buy that depot i believe it takes three ah, okay right awesome uh what is the giveaway you're doing like what is it for it is going to be for a voucher of some kind for over xbox playstation steam etc it is for the 400 special i'll be doing that on sunday the giveaway uh i've subbed you mate thank you joseph i'm pretty sure you've been subbed a couple oh hold on he's replied uh right he's come back and said oh. they are not available yet which is unfortunately not what i wanted to bring you i yeah i would have yeah. um yeah maybe they're having some teething issues yeah he said it doesn't it doesn't seem like they're available so you'll have to watch the space guys i don't know how i fix the uh the bug. one shot one shot daniel thank you for subscribing to my channel i will go and return a sub to you there you are do you know how you repair it? It says repair, compressed air tank. Uh... Yeah, you need to, you need to have um, so basically you know the items that you can buy like spare parts for your yeah. own. Yep. Yeah, basically, you have to put them in your car, uh, and then it will tell you what it needs, and then you can press X to repair it. And then when it's repaired, got you. yeah. Because there's this one needs quite a lot. Is there like a time limit to it? So it will just sort of go away at some point. No, but once that's done then eventually after a certain amount of time it'll give you another one so that will stay there it won't go away okay uh so how much will it be beaver what's that laser jet you want about the dlcs oh it went nice well it's still there but it's not showing up sms now good so i'll continue with our See, work that's... so yeah where joe just gone past that was on the bottom right hand corner of the island you had a little like a garage symbol there. That is the depot that you can purchase. Cool. You have just lost all audio. What on the game or on the stream? I'm just reading what Rom Summer Mills, uh, Summer Rills, yeah. Summer some said. Uh, Beaver, Beaver, no. What Jaffa? What I don't understand the... what you're saying no to. Right, let me yes. head over. Just saying Beaver, no. That's not very helpful giveaway oh how much will it be um i'm not sure yet i'm probably going to speak to my mod to see what we think it'll be a fair amount though lovely oh on the game uh i suppose try and reset the game ron i'm not too sure i seem to yes, have you oh, no, it's my you've, got, you've got the appointments there yeah so yeah if you want to skip to appointment, instead of setting the time manually, if you just press square, it'll take you to it. Because I think that's causing people some problems. They were trying to manually skip to the time and... Yeah, it wasn't working properly. Yeah. Uh, got closer to the bus and we'll show you how to fix it. No tools or parts. That's awesome. Yes. I thought that's how you do it. You just walk up to it and it's like, oh, repair, done. <laughs> no, you actually... No. You need... You actually need... Yeah. You can... I mean, you can actually go over there, find out what parts you need, maybe make a list or something. Write it down or somewhat, and then, yeah, go back over cool. and repair it. Hey, Evelyn Mick, how are you? Right, so I'm going to go over to the garage and get our own bus repaired. Which I think it yes. said I could get there any time before five. And we got that order at one o'clock as well, so... Busy, busy. Yeah. But yeah, if you have got any questions for TML Beaver or Ryan, do put them in the chat and I'm sure he can answer them. Yeah, I'll try and answer anything and everything I can. If I don't know, I will fire off a question to someone else that probably will know the answer. Cool. I need to reskin this bus. I don't like the orange on it. Yeah, you have to use the RGB colour picker and change the colour. Yeah. I'll put one of those Tui liveries on it, or the Yay livery, as it is on it. Yeah. Right down into Porto del Rosario. Have you picked up the game yet, Mick, or are you holding off just to wait for the patch? 
Yes, Yaz Joe has pinned at the top of the chat. It is out for Xbox already. Sony are still processing it. Hopefully, it won't be too long. Cool. Hello, exploring. How are you? Yeah, thanks for joining us again, Ryan. No problem. I'm happy to be here. Yeah. Happy to help people out as much as possible. Exploring the UK stations. Hello. In fact, I might as well spray it here, man. There's a spray point just here. Uh, Spirit of Steam, I'm guessing. Laser jet. I uh, lost all audio on Xbox, and when it told me to leave the airport, places me in the back of the car and froze. That's not good, Ron. Not good at all. It was taking you wrong. <laughs> uh, when the day okay. one patch comes out. Hello, Explorer. Yeah, I'm all good. Hopefully we're all well. Probably going to respray it. I don't like it in that livery. That's quite cool. Well, there is the colour picker. I'm waiting to see patch version before deciding whether to get on console. Hello, exploring all the UK stations. Hope you're well. Uh, Darnell Fernandez, how long have you been working with TML? I've been a closed beta tester since August of 2020. Awesome. So, just over one and a half years. Cool. I'm going to go for, go for the yay one again. I do like the yay livery. Mm -hmm. Awesome, laser jet. Well, I'll have to do that after this then. <sighs> Is there something out? I can't see anything out about it. Yeah, nothing at the moment. Oh, there you go. They're putting it in there, actually. There you go. Right, let's get that on. And uh, let's go get the bus fixed. You played any tourist bus, Ryan, to sort of celebrate the release of it on console? No, I haven't yet, but I'm actually considering jumping on just for doing a little bit of it, yes. Cool. Um... I'm being a guard on the street, 77313 East Coastway. Lovely. Awesome, uh, laser jet. Hello, Jude. How are you? Yeah, sounds good, Rom. I'm so, going to reboot the whole Xbox and see if it fixes the order as restart the game doesn't work. Right, hopefully they let me in now. I mean, it's 9 o'clock, so hopefully. Trains and trains with Elliot favourite TS2 do. Europe DLC. Don't know where that's directed to me or Joe. Probably Joe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll be down. Oh, it's going to be late to the order. Uh, do I? Can I do that? It's going to be done at fourteen hundred, but then our order was at thirteen hundred. Does that mean we lose the order? Or yeah, if you're not there, it'll say, "Do you want to like assign another driver to it?" Uh, what are do then is how much money have we got? We got forty-eight thousand. Well, I suppose the best thing would probably be to get another worker, I guess, and then they can because yeah, that'll be tomorrow they'll do it. If you hire a mechanic, Joe, you can get the bus repaired in your own workshop instead of having to take it here. Okay, let me have a look. Let's have a look. Mechanics. Nothing It'll be in the same place as you go to um, hire a driver. It'll be in the All same right. list. So you have to go to the computer. Mechanic. I'll get him in. Clara Grand. Oh, oh there you are. The smartphone's working now. Well, they'll be there tomorrow, won't they? So, hmm. Um. I'm going to have to cancel that order. I think I'll book another one tomorrow. That, that, that yeah. let me fast travel to the office. You need to be at the right part on the career, Stephen. Yeah, you have to have completed the tutorial and then it'll say, right, off you go. Going back there. Uh, Series X, it's 25 quid. Would you say it's worth it? That's a bargain, 25 quid. Hello, Amanda, how are you? Yeah, especially with the other buses that's been thrown in as well. Yeah. I mean, if you was to buy all that on PC, you're probably talking... 40 quid 40, or so, yeah. 45 pound, yeah. Right, I'm going to have to cancel that order at the uh, mechanics. And I'm going to start the job up. Um, there's the R62. Kind of skip time, so it's just before the order. So we'll go for 12:42. Uh, 
Ah, uh, hello, Amanda. Cool. Hello, Krasa, then, how are you? So now I've seen that, I can't unsee that about the um, door frames disappearing as you're close to it. Some sort of rendering problem. Just been playing it, stuttering. Oh, is that on the Series S, Gordon? Yeah, Joe, I wouldn't do it like that. I would actually just press and hold the square button and it would automatically skip to the next appointment because ah, I think do. that's... Yeah, I think that's been causing some problems. Ah. Fair enough, 13. Planes and trains, awesome. It's telling me to fast travel, but I'm spawning somewhere else. Oh, I've heard that happening on Xbox as well, where someone spawned out a hoy, so on the, in the server. Uh, mm. Well, it's not happening in my end, and I should have the same version as everyone else now. That could be so. maybe an Xbox problem only. Because we are seeing some problems that are limited to certain consoles. Yeah. Like with the black sidewalks, that was a PS5 only bug. Not too sure, Stephen. Yeah, not too sure. Let's hop in again. Quite like this bus, the uh, R62. Yeah, it's quite long though. It's not really yeah. that suited for worth venture. Yeah. Well, I think this route is the Line 320. It was really, it was packed last time. So I'm hoping by having a bigger bus, yeah, it won't be as packed. So it'll be fairly suitable, and it's an infinite route as well. So I put a worker uh, on it to drive it. Yeah, thirteen eight nine ninety. What bus do you first start on? Uh, you can buy whatever bus you want from the second-hand market, providing you have the money to do so. Because that's one of the first tasks. They'll be like, "Oh, go to your computer, go to the second-hand market, and buy a bus." Yeah. Where are the Where are the DLC on Xbox Store? Is delayed. I have asked about our crash guides. Uh. Yeah, right now they are not sure why they are not available currently in contact with Xbox and Sony about what's going on with the DLCs. Oh, is there Reaper? Well, that's a nice little bonus there. Uh, you going to Eastbourne? Hello, Tintin. How are you? Another fellow Dovetail Games ambassador. How you doing, Tintin? Yeah, wall support, Ryan. Do we know what wheels? Yes, uh, Frostmaster, Fanatec, and Logitech. Awesome. Wheels are officially supported. Other ones may work as well, but there is no guarantee whether they will function properly. Has the patch come out, Crash Guides? If you look at the top of the chat, Joe kindly pinned for you. Yeah. Day one patch is out for Xbox. PlayStation is still waiting approval from Sony, and they are dragging their feet over it as usual. <laughs> Typical Sony. Yes. Is it multiplayer? No, this isn't multiplayer, Mick. Although another TML game, I think will be multiplayer in the future. That's the bus, yes, isn't it? Definitely, that will be multiplayer, yes. Uh, can we change the wheel steering sensitivity? Sorry, can we change the steering sensitivity, Duckington? Uh, yes, you can. You should better go into the settings with your keybinds, and there should be options there for curve value and fade time. You can adjust that to your tastes. You're quite excited yeah, for this release. Stuff. Yes, so are we, Tintin. We're quite quite excited to get out as well. Awesome, Tintin. It's brilliant, isn't it? Right, let's uh, lower the bus. Should probably want to turn that on for that. There you go. Uh, someone stood in the road, okay. <laughs> yeah, ignore them. <laughs> yeah. Open the doors up. Not as bad as what I saw on Train Sim World the other day when someone literally stood in between both the lines the New York <laughs> DLC. Yeah, hello, William. <gasps> you decided to get the game, and I have no issues. I'm absolutely loving the game. Props to TML, I'm surprised though the DLCs aren't in the store yet. Fair enough. Very yeah, much I yeah. yeah, I did ask, um... Yes, I did ask them, Tallboy, and they said that they are looking into it, speaking with Microsoft and Sony. But I couldn't go over that person in the middle of the tracks yesterday on your train <laughs> and work stream. <laughs> Made yeah. a chuckle, actually. Um, yeah, just reminded me of it seeing that guy stood in the road. Um, yeah. I might get a coach first, or would I recommend starting with a basic airport bus first? Um, 138990. Uh, I'd probably go with a BB40. Probably the best one to start with. Smallest bus, get used to the roads. Then maybe you can go on something a bit bigger, maybe like a MAN in the city R60 or something. I quite like the W906, that's another good one. Uh, I haven't yeah. tried it, Jake, I haven't tried it. The wheel, sh wheel support should be out on PlayStation when the patch comes out. 
It's already on Xbox, as far as I'm aware. Patch is already out for Xbox. Yeah, has anyone um, tried Joe's... the well on Xbox? Joe's cat is making an appearance. <laughs> yeah, uh, Smudge. Hello, Quicko. Regardless, this is a great game. Shomni. That's French, isn't it? I'm assuming planes and trains is on about trains oh, Chemnitz, the world. That's, uh... Yeah, Farrand, uh, Chemnitz, Dresden. Oh, okay. Can I get Platinum without shouting at the game? I think there isn't actually Platinum on this game. Platinum on this game at the moment. Although I saw Fabian uh, yeah, uh, said I, he's I, going to get that, you know, changed. Yeah, I saw that as well. I, personally, I don't really care much for trophies and whatnot. Wow. But um, <laughs> I like I like playing the game. But yeah, I know some people are really big on it though. Probably Crasher, yeah. To connect all the trophies. Maybe Miss Adams. Uh, could anyone share play this game? That's a good question. I don't think that would be supported. Because that's, no, that's like PS5, on um, PS5, PS5 you can, only. Yeah, you can share play on there. Hello, Gregory. Yeah. But the developer has to, it's developer supported, right? The developer has to support it. Who is Fabian, uh, the Aerosoft community manager, I want to say? Yeah, he's one of the senior people at Aerosoft. Yeah. But as for share play, I'm. That is has to be supported by the developer, doesn't it, Joe? Uh, no, it's just a, it's a PlayStation thing. Every oh, game allows okay. it. Okay. All oh, right. Oh, you're on Series X with the Logitech G23 or oh, G923. Yeah, don't beat me on too bad, guys. I haven't had a console for quite a while. <laughs> I'm a PC geek, I'm afraid. So. <laughs> the DBBR612 like... planes. Yeah. Train talk. <laughs> Yeah. Definitely planes, most definitely. If you're enjoying the Brighton Main Line, South Eastern, Cathcart, you're like East Coast away. I can't went straight into the side of me. Oi. <laughs> right. They're in big trouble. Hmm. Is DLC meant to be out? Like I said, Krazer, we have spoken to Microsoft and Sony, currently waiting for them. It should be. But yes. <laughs> Problem is, no one seems to know anything. Yeah, Mick does love his platinums. Hmm. Yeah, you sure can, Matthew, yet? Yeah, you sure can. Because, yeah, this was. Apparently, this all the publication and everything was handled by Aerosoft. Yeah. I found out. We didn't have much of a hand in it at all, and Aerosoft didn't share that much with us either. Oh, so yeah, that's like, yeah, why, I, it. why I didn't have much information to share with you the other day. Some, a few, yeah, a few of the uh, viewers weren't that impressed, but it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. It's okay, just waiting. Yes, there's always an adjunct at that always at that junction. There is. An accident. Yeah, there is Tintin. Yeah, Crazy probably junction. needs to. Uh, push the AI stop bar back a bit will make them more reactive so that they yield to you a bit better yeah quite like this route we're going um, probably want to come to a stop first before I show the map uh, we're going <laughs> Puerto del Rosario Casilla de Angel Clanos de la Concepcion uh, Tindaya uh, La Oliva uh, La Jales and then up to Coralejo we actually did this the other day it's a good route probably go up to Coralejo then we're, uh, yeah, we'll do the rest another time. It's about 40 minutes one, so what, doing the one way? Yeah, some of them are quite long. Yeah. There we go. Cool. What time did it come out to play? Um, midnight, I believe, local time. Yes. Awesome, Darren. I guess it's downloading. I saw on Xbox it was 37 gigabytes. On PlayStation it's 11. What yeah. would cause that? Um, I can't imagine the I day one patch would I, be 20 gig. Uh, if I personally had to say, that would probably be... It's compressed on PlayStation, but maybe not on Xbox. Yeah. Sure we'll be jump. Don't know what route yet, but we will be doing it. B 
But yeah, any questions, feel free to ask Ryan, who is in the chat. So, TML Beaver, you'll know him on the server. Yep, I can see the chat as well. Cool. Let's right, start on the journey up to Coralejo. Nice. What's your favourite bus in the game, Ryan? Hmm. Awesome, McQuicko. Bit of a Scania fanboy, if I'm honest. <laughs> So what yeah, are the Scania Touring buses then? What are they like? Uh, they're quite nice to drive. Very comfortable. Yeah. Quite enjoy driving them. But yeah, I'd probably have to go with the Scanias. Yeah. Awesome, Gordon. Uh, I've got a PC and Xbox. Fair enough. Oh, brilliant. Uh, French Lake, how Re was that? Uh, rebooting the Xbox sorted out the audio. Ron Summerreel. That's good to hear. I'm guessing you want to get a private pilot's license, fair enough. Uh, Mr. Quicker Gaming, is the game better on PC? Well, PC definitely has its advantages. For one, modding is supported in terms of repaints and whatnot. Um, yeah, the consoles has its pros as well. Yeah, that playing on the... Well, I think you can use controller, can't you, on PC? Yeah, that's, that's what I use. Faff, though. That's, what, that's what I use to play Xbox One controller. That's what yeah. I use to play games. Does look good though. Oh, yeah, day one patch will sort out the weird pop in and the black pavements. Yes, it will. So, if we're playing this tomorrow, which we will be playing this tomorrow, it will be sorted. Hopefully, so. <laughs> oh, I see, French though, fair enough. So, yeah, a lot of room on this bus, so that still must fill up. Well, actually, you know, there's still a fair amount. That's a good point. Can you get... Hang on, check-in passenger. Why can I check-in passengers here? That's weird. Yeah. I said I could check-in passengers there. Is this a hotel shuttle? No, that it's a... Uh, normal one. A normal? Yeah. Okay. Hey, there's Mod Pete. How you doing, Pete? Uh, I'm not going to do the hotel shuttle today, as yeah, the day one patch isn't out on PlayStation yet, so bad things would happen. Yes. Heard about as, that, Munchie, shit. Yeah. As Joe showed you yesterday, it wasn't playing quite well with the shuttle mode, it was freezing up. Yeah, how you doing, Pete? Are you going to be getting this, Pete? Add it to your basket. There we go. Cool. What's your favourite part of the map as well, Ryan? What a favourite um, area? Well, the favourite area to look at, all the twisty areas. I don't like driving up them, but <laughs> I like looking at them. They look really nice. Fair enough. But now since one fell, oh, blimey, Pete. Getting you back on the uh, early shift. Uh, am I right that the Man's Lion Coach CBB40, Intercity, and Neo Plan Skyliner are in the base game on console? Yes, they are. They are in the base game. Which I think was a very, very kind thing to do, because on PC they are paid DLC. Is this not the release version and AC? Mm, no, technically it's not. No, Joe's still running a pre-release version because they haven't released a day one patch yet, which will bring his version up to the same as everyone else's. Yeah. So yeah, we've technically got like two versions out in the wild right now. All the Let's players yeah. are on an older version and the release version. How you doing, AC? Bit, which is a bit odd, but there we are. Fair enough, Pete. Well, yeah, when when day one patch comes out, I'll test my will on it. So I know you've got Frostmaster as well, haven't you? So. Yeah, one day I'll have the luxury of buying myself a steering wheel set up for my PC. Awesome. Uh, not too sure, Dan. At some point we'll be back on it. Not too sure when, though. I mean, if the day one patch comes out later tonight, I might go back onto this. So. How you doing, Dan? Right, let me see if... Oh, I just got pinned. Who pinned me? Cool. Awesome, French dog. What, what, liver what liveries can you get on the R62, if you know? Can you get Flixbus on it? Probably not if it's on the R62. Uh, yeah, Flixbus should be on there. Yeah. 
I have to, uh, I can't get repainted. Even though, even though Flexbus don't actually run with the R62, but we added it just because, That's yeah. cool. Well, also the fact that people obviously had the bus, for, you know, the PC version of the bus, and it would have been odd if they could have only used yeah. it in one mode. Because on Fernbus you have two modes, you have like your Flexbus mode, which allows you to drive all the Flexbus yeah, yeah. route, and then you have like a shuttle mode. So yeah, would have yeah. been odd. Also, it was a great say... price. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Tintin says it was a great price in the end. I thought, yes, um, yeah, I think that's very fair as well. Yeah, you like the beach area, awesome going on. The case is meowing. Uh, is no, that's it will be sorted on the day one patch. Yeah, it will be sorted on the day one patch. AC, there's the cat, right? Eager to go after that area in a second. Yeah, the paths, nope, that is a PS5 only. Yes, French Cool. When did the patch come out for Xbox? I don't know when it came out, but on PlayStation uh, it's being processed. I think it was a late morning, like 10, 11 o'clock, I think, for Xbox. Yeah. Oh, lovely, Pete. I am still watching all, what, like, forum and whatnot. Yeah. To see if, because as soon as it's out, people are gonna be like, "It's out." <laughs> <laughs> you so, paid twenty two eighty five. I mean, that's a bargain. Hundred percent. As opposed to another certain bus in, which was forty five quid. Yeah, no comment from me. <laughs> Hello, LWR. How are you? Uh, yeah, guys, go. if you haven't, I'd highly appreciate if you could go and subscribe to me on my personal YouTube channel. I do a lot of Ferrati gaming like Joe does. Yeah. Yeah, I'd really like to see you come along. Because even though I do do the closed beta testing for TML, I also play other games as well. Uh, I have the game. I have not tried it yet on Xbox Series S. Uh, Darren Sim, you should be able to play it. Uh, the day one patch is out for Xbox, so yes, you'll have an update waiting for you if you haven't downloaded it already. <laughs> uh, Spain always have seen that those extremely tight paths that burn your retinas out. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, they are, they are very narrow in Spain, aren't they? The path, paths. It's like when you go to the cinema, isn't it? You come out of the cinema and your eyes are like when you look at the pavement just beaming up at you, like, oh, that's horrid. Yeah, you've been staring at a screen for the past two and a yeah. half hours. Yeah, we'll go up to Coralejo, and then uh, I think that will probably be it. It's quite a long journey, this one. I mean, maybe possibility of cloud gaming, maybe Richard for the Xbox, but PlayStation 4, probably, yeah, probably not. Would that be considered, yeah. Ryan, cloud gaming for the Xbox? I know Flight Sim's on it. <sighs> The thing is, TML kind of have a thing about, yeah, they, we always have done, like, they're not going to put a feature on one console if both can't have it. Yeah, uh, I see. Yeah, so, yeah, probably won't, because <laughs> they won't want to irritate all the PlayStation gamers out there. Yeah. Uh, um, because this game is good, Beaver has just earned a new subscriber. Oh, thank you very much, Tallboy. Much appreciated. Uh, guessing the channel's based on Squirrel. Uh, no, it's just because, if you ever heard of the saying, Eager Beaver, I'm a very eager okay. person. Yeah, and that's where I got my nickname from. But, yeah, I've, I know Squirrel. Paul's a good guy. Yeah, I see. Can't deal with the sound. Uh, Tintin wants to see the map. Can do, Tintin. Line three two zero. It's an infinite one as well, so you can keep doing it every yeah, day. So, All that's quite uh, high. Hello, CJ King. Hello, one. I purchased the game, and I can't wait to play. It. I'm excited. Glad to see will support. Awesome, King. If you're on Xbox, will support's working. PlayStation, it will be when the patch is out. Yes. And this route is actually fairly suitable as well for the big buses. Like some routes, it's you know you don't want, yeah. you can't be using big buses, but this one actually ain't too bad. Yeah, there's no way you're getting a big bus if you go down to Betan Korea, it's not going to happen. Yeah. Hello, Leo, how are you? Uh, 
we're going left for it. Are we going to hit that car now? I think we're all good. And here we are. This is Clanos de la Concepcion, I believe. Uh, Janos de la Concepcion, yeah. Uh, Janos, there we go. Yeah, I studied Spanish at school and college, so my Lovely. Spanish pronunciations are pretty good. Cool. Most English people, they just say it like, you would say it in English, don't you? And then yeah. Spanish people look at you like, what? <laughs> this line is always busy. I mean, look at the amount of people on the uh, coach here. Or on the bus. Yeah. Just going to wait, though, because it seems that it, they take quite a while to get off. So I'm just going to wait just think they see they're all getting off now. Yeah. Would that be a bug, or them taking What's forever that? to get off the bus? Uh, I mean, I guess it could be speeded up. It depends if it is taking too long. I mean, they're pretty reasonable. Yeah, because it seems people get on first, then people get off. Yeah, personally, I think it should be the other way around. Yeah. Because if, especially if ever single door buses were to ever come to any other games not saying that they are but if they were that would obviously mechanic would have to be altered so that people got off first yeah to make that possible because in the uk we mostly have single door or double door buses so yeah all right trying to get around here don't hit the car i'm going up on the pavement a bit there there we go oh. Alright, looked quite similar to Squirrels, Thumbnails, and Channel, Banner, etc. Lovely, Tintin. I took inspiration, but I also wanted to put my own spin on things. That does sound fun, Tintin. Uh, I was demoing on the foot side of the game last night, I jumped off a pit into the sea, but it was fine, I pinged back onto the pit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I told everyone a story about Taurus Bus. When we were having to test, there was a bug that snuck into the PC version. Yeah. Where if you went flying off of a, um, basically off the edge of a cliff or something, the bus would just freeze and it would crash the game. <laughs> so, yeah, when the patch or the attempted patch was put into the closed beta version, and they were like, right, everyone just go and drive off the edge. <laughs> so, yeah, we were all going and driving off the edge of every little rock we could find to see if it would crash. What actually happens actually when you quite fun. do the bus off a cliff? Is it just stuck there? Oh, no, you fast travel. Well, that, you? well that was the bug we had quite a while ago on PC. But the vehicle would just get stuck. Uh, yeah. The car still does it, but that's not a bug. That is to basically just encourage people from just yeah going and driving all over the place. But on the buggy, it's should be there, I believe. Yeah. So it's Copy 60 it. FPS for sure. Then that's what Chrysler says. Yeah, don't see why. Why not? 60 FPS should be easily attainable. Especially on the Especially PS5. Exactly. With very powerful consoles. So guys, at this rate, Joe's going to be hitting 7,000 subs soon. Yeah, almost. I'm going to have to do a little celebration stream or something. <laughs> So yeah guys, if you haven't already, please go and sub to my channel. I will be doing a 400 giveaway special on Sunday coming. That's Sunday the 15th. So yeah, if you want to come and win a voucher for a store of your choice, i.e. Xbox, Sony Store, Steam, etc, etc. Then yeah, make sure you are subscribed and you can come along on Sunday. Awesome, guys there. Why can't uh, the game be on old console? Because it would lag and... Well, it'd probably yeah. lag and be yeah. I think the console would probably get broken by the game. <laughs> More hassle for the developers as well, having to do it on, well, mm. PC, next gen, last gen. Yeah, well, it's like so. old PCs as well. They're effectively like old consoles. And yeah, they don't play too well on the older PCs. Obviously, you have the option of turning down settings and whatnot. Yeah, GPUs, which is quite reasonable. There you go, Crash Guys just said 6 gigs on PC. So you could probably get away with 16 gigabytes of RAM on a PC. Cool. There they go. So there's little secrets on this game, isn't there? Little secret areas and. Yep. Stuff you can find. Definitely. I enjoyed going around to all the containers. Yeah. What can you get at containers? Sorry? What do you find at containers? Uh, you can find skill points to allow you to unlock new fast travel destination 
So yeah. you can unlock like a bus stop or something. So if you don't want to drive from one part of the map to the other, you can just fast travel over your bus. Uh, you can get other points as well. And yeah. you can get money cash. Not bad. And on some of the containers, they also have maps that contain basically directions to other places. Maybe that'll be hidden components for the buggy, or it'll be like a yeah point of interest. Yeah. Right, here I am. I'm at uh, Tindaya. Yeah, that was all people were interested in on the PC. What's the code for this container? <laughs> <laughs> I want all the money. I have it quicker, no. Well, that's where you get to Coralejo, I'll have a look. So. Although, I, which I'll have a look in a second. I am honestly surprised that we haven't had any questions, but like, what's the code for such and such <laughs> container in this place? Yeah. See, so, yeah, that's what I normally do, obviously. I just go and, um, I have all the container codes written down. So yeah, so I'll send it I, to if, a boy. See, so if I ever start a new game, I'll just go and get a few containers and I can buy whatever bus I want. I'm liking this bus though. When I first sort of drove this bus, I was like, eh, it's okay, but having yeah. it now in the company, it's actually really nice. Yeah, the thing with me, I don't normally drive it because obviously I'm like you are with trains, you like to drive the HUD off and whatnot. So yeah, I have the HUD off, like the map, because obviously all the buses have oh, a built in. One, does it? Oh, yeah, it does, yeah, down it there. It does, but yeah, it does, but the only problem is, is it's below your eye line. So for this bus, if I was to drive it, I'd need to have it on. Quite a suitable one though, it was fairly cheap as well. Yeah. Which I'm guessing this will be a DLC. The R62 and R60 and R61. Uh, no. Actually. Oh, is this included? Yeah, let me just go back, I've got the list. We yeah. added quite a few vehicles in for free that I wasn't expecting. Ah, see, quicker. Is there a new article of so, yes. it? So yes, the Lions, Coach, Second Gen, the Skyliner, the Intercity, Trio, and the BB40 are all included. Oh, brilliant! Well, wow, lots of yeah. free DLC then. And count, oh. count yourselves lucky because on PC that would have cost about thirty or twenty or thirty pounds for all that lot to buy each yeah. one of them separately, and they're coming with the game for free. Awesome, Krazer. I hope Xbox put this game on Xbox Cloud so everyone could play it. A uh, friend, brother, that is not going to be a thing, unfortunately. Because otherwise we will have all the PlayStation people like, when is it going to go on the cloud? <laughs> is there ever going to be a cloud for PlayStation? So, no. So I'm guessing there won't be many updates for this game then once all the DLC is out. I suppose it will just be in line with the PC version, which is sort of not a lot goes on with it now. Uh, yeah. It, effectively, we will be bringing it in line. The version number should be brought in line with it as well, so you should see that you're going to magically skip eight versions. You're going to go from 1.0 to 1.9 to prevent confusion. Yeah. Um, yeah, there will be updates and whatnot, fixing bugs, adding in new vehicle DLCs, etc. Yeah. As for development in terms of new islands or whatnot, that is not happening. In that respect, the game is finished. Yeah. But we're, it's not like we're just going to abandon it, it will get updates. Yeah. To, to fix obviously new bugs that pop up, existing bugs, and adding in new vehicle DLCs. So, yeah, there will be content coming. I still reckon Fern Bus is going to come after this and then the bus after that. Well, you that. hold you hold <laughs> that thought in your head. Yeah. Hello, it's even Eek, if, how are you? Even, yeah, even if I didn't know, I couldn't say anything. <laughs> um, the S531DT DLC is not yet available. It is available for Fern Bus only, and that's only on PC, so that kind of doesn't really apply. But yes, if you have Fern Bus on a PC and you're like, where is that bus? It is not available for Taurus Bus yet. We was waiting to launch the console version, and it should be released well as soon as the update 110 beta is done and dusted, because we've been holding that off as well. So that can all get done at the same time, full three platforms. Because yeah, I love the S531 DT, it's a massive bus. Absolutely huge, perfect for fan bus. Taurus bus, probably not. Yeah. Will know. we get a Will we get a new coach or bus game from TML soon, like this and fan bus? What you mean, like combined into one game? Make God. us quicker gaming. That's... Um. No. What is the name of your channel, Beaver? Um. 
Beaver. <laughs> that is the name of my channel. Joe can proper link down in chat. Yeah. Shame you can't pin more than one message. At yeah, top because of the screen, stream. A uh, can't wait if Fanbus comes out to console at any point. Yeah, that would be cool. I know that that would go down well. I think the best one would probably be the bus. Well, yeah, everyone wants that as well, yeah. don't they? Because <laughs> they, you know, that's the newest baby from TML. Everyone's like, oh, the bus. You know, is that coming to console? And I think, <laughs> yeah, they've stopped way far back. But even that isn't enough room for Joe. Joe wants yeah. all the room he can get, and more. Uh, there's the graphic settings. There's not really too much to it. It's just sort of what works best for you. I just keep it on the default, which looks fine to me. So it really depends about your TV settings as well, brightness wise. Oh, come yeah. on. I think you should make a bus game UK. Um, yeah, I want one as well. I don't. Obviously, you've got Omsi that already has DLC, but yes, Omsi is getting old. I'd love one. I'm not going to lie. I'd love to have a UK bus game, especially made by TML. Yeah. Not being biased or anything, but I do love TML. TML games. do it best. They they do do. Really um, nice. Liam says, why was Fort Ventura selected as the island to base the game on? Uh, that is a good question. I actually, if I remember rightly, the boss of TML actually went there for holiday once, and I believe he had the brainwave of, oh, this would be a really good, great place to make a game, and yeah, pretty sure I went from there. Yeah. Plus, I'm pretty sure that's the story behind it. Do you play Trains in Wild? Uh, I have it. I haven't played it recently. I'm actually bringing it back to my channel. I will actually be playing it for an hour on Sunday as part of the. Yeah, lovely. What route, though? What route? 400 special. Um, well, I don't have a lot of routes, so I'll probably be limited to what I own. I'll have to go and have a look. And also, another person covering Taurus Bus Simulator on console is Tintin. Tintin57. So if you want more, was it 76? It's one of the two, but yeah, do check out Tintin as well. He's covering the game as well on console. Yeah, Tintin is a Dovetail Ambassador. Yeah. Like you are. Jorez. USA bus him. Didn't TML Tim do that? Uh, yeah, we did a state bus in New York. Yeah. Quite a while ago. This is the developers that Joe is talking to. Oh, I'm a closed beta tester at Eek from TML. For PC though, I didn't close beta test anything off the console. Yeah. So Ryan know what knows what he's on about. <laughs> Most of the time. <laughs> uh, bus Simulator 21 have London buses in the game. Uh, I don't believe. Don't believe so, do they? I mean, they have the Enviro 500, but that's not really a London bus. And the Enviro 200. 200. I think that's a uh, London bus. Two, two and 500. They are in the bus sim 21, but uh, yeah. No, no, they're not it? just in London, they're quite all the way around. Arctic bus sim, Crasser Guides. That'd be oh. crazy. It'd be cool though, but... Well, you've got that Alaska truck sim coming, haven't you? And you've yeah. got train sim uh, Alaska or something. Train sim Alaska? I, I don't know, but I know that there's loads okay. of... Everyone wants to drive in the wild places now. They've done all the boring stuff, like driving buses in normal places. They're like, oh, we want Alaska train simulator, and we want... Um, <laughs> yeah, we cool want... Though. Yeah, they want all the exotic places, all the awkward ones. Uh, Beaver, Rush Hour DLC, Brighton to Victoria. I already own the Brighton Victoria DLC. Not the Rush Hour version, no, just the base one. Oh, Train Sim. Yes, Train Sim. Train Sim Classic. Is it? Much classic? Yeah, they've renamed Train Sim to like, Train Sim Classic. So it's not Train Sim 2020, 2021, 2022, 20. Yeah. So Train Sim Classic uh, and Train Sim I, yeah, I honestly thought they were going to do away with Train Sim 20, 20 whatever. Yeah. Or Classic. I thought we were just going to go to Train Sim World only. Alright, I'll um, imagine one day. So yeah, let's go and have a look see what DLC I have for Train Sim World. I have the Isle of Wight. I have East Coastway, That's Long Island, New York. Route. West Somerset, Rapid Transit and Great Western Railway. Cool. East Coast yeah. is a marvellous route. There is crazy, yeah. I do have to say the train sim DLCs, they definitely have the lust about them. They look nice. Yeah. So there's more buses in base game. Yes, there is crazy guys. Uh, one suggestion, developer to make the rad a little bit wider. What do you mean, the teak? The ramp, do you want to expand? Maybe? 
ramp. Rad. Oh, road. Ramp. Road, probably. Oh, road. But this is how it is in real life. This is how wide they are in Fuerteventura. I mean, if we were to make it wider, it wouldn't be authentic then. Well, you do get some motorways on here, but... Yeah, you get the odd A road and whatnot, but yeah. remember, it's an island, so there's not going to be that many major roads. Obviously, you've got the major road that goes from the airport, go past Moriable and whatnot, where you start off. Yeah. But apart from that, there's not much else. What buses are included? Bear with, I've got the list on my phone. Lions Gen... Sorry, Lions Coach 2nd Gen, Neoplan Skyliner, MAM Lions, Intercity R60, 61, 62, and the BB40. Oh yes, Pete, I sure am. How, Graham Pan, how much will it cost on Xbox Series X? £24.99, €30. Euros. There you go. But yeah, I mean, the price is an absolute bargain. I mean, some sim games are quite expensive nowadays, but TML. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, not gonna lie. Hours. I was, yeah, I was surprised when they said how much it was gonna be. I was definitely expecting it to be more. Yeah. In a way, I'm pleased because it means the console players get a good price. And, and similar getting, pricing to TSW as well, which is also a bargain. And they're getting buses thrown in for free, which is yeah. also nice. So yeah, you guys don't know how lucky you are. If you'd have had to pay for all that DLC that you've got for free, you'd have probably, yeah, it would have been about 40 or 50 pounds. I'm guessing the rest are DLC still. Yes, they are, Krasa Guides, and... Yes. Oh, and how also... Much is it... Oh, go on, go on. Oh, sorry, Atikra, man, how much is it on Steam? It's 27 pounds, 10. Load some bag in the bus. Oh, that's the shuttle. No, don't, no, don't think you can load bags in uh, the tourist they're, bus. They're, they're automatic, they just appear. Yeah. Uh, uh, Beeves, you don't have the rush hour main on Brighton to Victoria. East Coast has different DLC, but that's still Brighton to Victoria. Hello, yeah, no, SNCF, how you doing? Uh, East Coast has Brighton to Seaford and Eastbourne. Oh, there we are. Oh, sorry, I'm a noob when it comes to trains. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's probably shouting at me like, ah, Beaver! <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, a little note. Um, if you are looking at getting trains similar to this, if anyone here, uh, there is the Spirit of Steam bundle, which is available on PC. It's thirty quid, and you get you get the game and Spirit of Steam together, so you're saving twenty pounds. Less uh, yeah. than PC on console. Yeah, I know who has it, guys. I actually asked, like, is the PC price going to be lowered or the console price raised? Because yeah, I didn't. I would have expected them to be the same price. So I have asked. No one's actually said what's going to happen. But if I had to guess, I'd probably say the PC price will be adjusted down. Because obviously when that came out, it was based on the currency conversions from 2018. Yeah. It's really just so, the uh, town areas. Really, that's where you got the black pavement. But that is obviously going to be sorted in the day one patch. So. Any idea when the patch is going to be released? Well, hopefully before midnight. Yes, for Xbox it is already out, for PlayStation is just waiting approval from Sony. The lights on the R62 keep going out, what's going on? The lights keep going out. Yeah, it mm. says they're on but they keep going out on their own uh, by themselves. Are they, are they need maintaining? Have they uh, worn out? That's a good point, if that's a thing, quite possibly. Uh, it is a thing, yeah. Yeah, that's one end of the room that goes back down to the airport, which I'll probably do as a video uh, at some point. But yeah, uh, I think I'm going to call it in and there. It is, it is Tintin, yes. Looking forward to it. Uh, obviously, massive thanks to Ryan for joining us again on Taurus Bus. No problemo. It is my pleasure, awesome. as always. And I oh. hope everyone is having fun with the game. Yeah. Um, as good stuff. As usual, if there are any issues you have, I know there are quite a few of you have been on the TML Discord already. Please do go over there and let us know about any issues. There's a SSF, yeah. There we've got 83 uh, people in, so thanks all for coming. And obviously, Ryan does have his own channel, so feel free to check him out. Go and ask yeah, him questions um, on there as well. So, what buses are DLC, Kenzie? I can kind of answer a few other questions quick before we wrap up. Yeah. So, what buses are DLC? Let me grab my Steam store page up and I can tell you. This will give you every single bus. Okay. So, vehicles that will be available as DLC content. 
VDL Futura FDD2, the MAN Lions Code 3rd Generation, the W906, uh, the VDL Futura FHD2, the Comfort Class HD, and the Scania Touring, and at a later date, you will also have the Cetra S53 on DT Top Class. Cool. And I believe I saw another question. Have the SNCF you uh, too. No, that looks like that's it. Uh, what man bus what man bus build are you riding? Already answered that R60. Uh, yeah, that looks like it in terms of questions. Uh, yeah, thank you for having me, Joe. Yeah, no thank worries. you guys. Uh, yep, yeah, Tintin, thank you, no problem. Jaffa, thank you. Uh, Darnell Fernandez, yeah, you have a great day too. Hope cool. you enjoy playing the game, everyone who has it. Um, yeah, we're excited. Send us some screenshots as well. I want to see some screenshots. I haven't seen many. I want to see all your lovely, wonderful screenshots of what routes and buses you're driving with. <laughs> awesome. Well, yeah, thanks all for coming in. Obviously, links can be found in the description to the Discord, to the PayPal, and to the merch store if you don't know to support the channel. Big thanks to Aerosoft for giving us the key to show off the game. Obviously, ma massive thanks to Ryan again for coming and answering questions. My pleasure. Awesome. Uh, absolutely honoured to do so. It's great to come into a channel with such a great community and such a great content creator. Yeah, cheers. Uh, no I'll be problem. back slightly later on with some trains and well, not too sure what route yet, but we'll wait and see. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed it and hopefully we'll see you next time. Yeah, the game is now out on Xbox uh, Series S and X and PlayStation 5, 24 99 uh, well, if you're on the PlayStation, the Day 1 patch isn't out just yet. Well, that should be out later today. Hence the name Day 1 patch. Um, yeah. But yeah, um, I think that's going to be it. So, uh, say bye, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, take care, guys. Have a great day. Enjoy playing the game. Hope awesome. you all have fun. Okay, awesome. Well, hopefully we'll see you in the next one. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys. <laughs>